Hello everyone. So I was going to do a quick uh, update of what I'm going to be starting doing soon. Um, I did get my ovulation test in the mail, so I was going to show you what those look like. They are, um, well, I'll show you this. It's actually easier to see. So they come like this. This is one package, one test, and obviously it says ovulation test on it, but, um, it comes with, I got a bag of 50 here. So I got this bag of 50 and then I got these pregnancy tests. Look like this, the same brand, um, which are the ones I said I had been using. Um, and they come with a pack of 20 pregnancy tests. So it comes with 50 of the ovulation test and um, 20 of the pregnancy test. And those cost, I'm throwing a blank. I wanna say it was like 20 some dollars. So it was under 30 bucks for 50 ovulation tests and um, 20 pregnancy tests. And then I was also gonna show you guys uh, what I use for the cups because I've seen a lot of people use things um, like their, like just other cups and I always wonder how you go through so many cups because it's kinda get expensive if you're using like your normal cups for that or just like spare cups or old cups and how many old cups can you have? So I actually am using these. Um, you know, the little Dixie cups, and you can get them, like this one I have is a box of 180. Not gonna lie, I've had those for a while. I didn't like specifically buy it for that, but I think I found it works really well, especially for um, pregnancy tests. So um, I'm sure it'll be just as fine for the ovulation test, because then you can just sit the the test on the lid of the, the cup and just sit it there. You don't have to even sit it on your counter, which is nice too. So I am on cycle day six and I'm, my AF is pretty much gone and I know it's pretty early to test for ovulation, but I just got them. And so, um, also I've been kind of irregular, so I'm not really sure exactly when I ovulate. And again, I know like right after AF ends is pretty early, but I just figured I'd test it out just because I just got them and, um, we'll go from there. I'll probably do it about, um, every day just cause I have so many of them and I don't really know when I ovulate. And I have heard that some women find they ovulate a lot later than they thought or they ovulate a lot earlier than they thought. And they've even been using the apps and everything, which obviously aren't always accurate because every woman's different. So I'm going to try it this week or this cycle this way and just see how it works out. And then um, we'll go from there. But I'll let you guys know how that works out. Okay, so I was just going to show you guys real quickly if this will... Wow, now I understand how it's so hard to focus on cameras. <laughs> um, I was just gonna show you this is what it looks like, and it, it's exactly like the pregnancy test looks like. Obviously, it's just an ovulation test. So I was just gonna kind of show you um, what it looks like for those of you who have never seen one before. And wow, I can definitely see the issue with focusing. So I'll do my best, but we'll just see how this works. So we'll just try this out. I'm gonna set my camera down. Dip it in for three seconds and lay it down. Okay, so it's just like a normal, you know, line test, but um, I plan on doing one of these when I do do my ovulation test each time, just so that I can see what a positive looks like. And that way you guys can also see for those of you who haven't seen it, but I know a lot of you that may be watching this are pretty more, a lot more experienced than me. So you're probably don't really have to watch, but let's see. So there is the first line. Which is the control line. It says you wait for five minutes and oh my gosh, I can't even wait until I see like a positive on a pregnancy test. I, it's horrible. Like I'm way too excited about it. I think <laughs> I can't even wait till that day. It'll be so amazing. Okay. So you can see the test line has obviously came up and I do not see anything on the control line or excuse me, that that is the control line you see. I don't see anything on the test line. And again, I know I'm pretty early to be testing. So, oh, sorry. 
but I'm going to try doing this twice a day. Um, they, I've read somewhere where they've um, talked about doing it, you know, early after, or, you know, afternoon and evening, because that's when your LH surge is the highest. So I'll just do that. I mean, again, I have a ton of them. I have 50 of these tests in. It was like under 30 for that plus 20 pregnancy tests. So it's not like it's, you know, an expensive habit to keep up on compared to some of the other things, which I haven't got desperate enough to try yet, but I'm probably going to get there because oh, it's just such an exciting thing to be able to see, even if you're when you're ovulating, not a, let alone when you get a pregnancy test that's positive. But I don't see anything. I don't think. Maybe like a, no, see, this is what happens. You start looking for the line and then it's there. <laughs> but if I get a better one, I will definitely, oh, sorry about that. I will definitely um, let you guys know. But I just kind of wanted to do the first one just in case it, or just to kind of show you guys how they work and what they look like. Um, of course, obviously these are like the cheaper ones. Um, they have, you know, the nice little machines that I've seen, the the clear blue, clear blue fertility monitor, which I've seen some of the other people I follow uh, have started using, which are really super neat, but I'm not quite ready to spend that much money on anything yet, just because I'm a, I'm a huge penny pincher, so, um, but um, I've also seen people use the ones that do the smiley faces, or it just says yes or no, or something like that. I haven't looked too much into them. I just heard of um, people using those and seen them on blogs, so... Um, who knows, one day I might start using them, uh, but for now I'm going to stick to these just to see if they work, because if so, it's a cheaper alternative. Um, and I want to apologize in advance if when you watch this, I'm looking more at my, like into the, like looking down like now, rather than at the camera, I'm just not used to filming in the mirror. So, um, that is all I have for now. If you guys have any comments or suggestions or even questions, although again, I am not too experienced, so I may not be the best at uh, answering questions. Um, or if you just have questions about my personal experience, just uh, comment below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Until then, I will see you guys on my next update. Bye!